You probably have a collection like this, or maybe even a drawer. But have you ever wondered where all this stuff ends up? Well, that depends on how you get rid of it. In 2014, nearly 60% of old electronics were dumped into landfills. The other 40% was recycled, and 25% of that was then shipped to a developing nation. Electronic waste, or e-waste, is now the fastest growing source of toxic waste in the world. In 2016, 44.7 million tons of electronic waste was generated worldwide, or the equivalent of 4,500 Eiffel Towers. But e-waste isn't really junk. Last year, the UN estimated e-waste could contain more than $67 billion worth of precious metals. And while wealthy countries generate much of this waste, developing nations are often left with the task of recycling it. In China, workers dismantle illegally shipped computers, monitors, and printers, often without any safety equipment. In some countries, recyclers burn circuit boards or soak microchips in acid to extract gold, silver, and copper. Workers are often exposed to toxic metals like lead, mercury, cadmium, and beryllium. So what can you do? Here are a few suggestions. One, don't buy a new phone every year. Two, use free online videos to help fix old computers, phones, and gadgets. Three, use rechargeable devices. Four, donate old devices to recycling centers with e-stored certifications so you can be sure that your old devices are recycled in the United States. Let's make haste to end e-waste.